See you again. <laughs> yeah, welcome aboard. Okay. So, uh, by the way, I'm Steve Mars, for those of you who don't know me. <laughs> I'm uh, Andrew Van Heuvel. I'm an online physics teacher from the U.S. state of Michigan and a glass explorer. And Steve was kind enough to let me uh, tag along with him tonight. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. So, um, what's that thing you're wearing in your head? <laughs> so, this is glass, right? This is like a, it's like a tiny computer, right, that you wear on this little uh, lightweight frame here. And it's really cool. I mean, essentially, it's like a really easy way to, to search and explore and capture and share the world around you. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll get back to that sure. a bit later, yeah. So the other day, we went down for a bike ride, but we decided to go to the LHC tunnel for a change. Uh, this is something that very few people ever get the, the right to do, but, but Andrew's a special guy, so we, <laughs> we allowed him to do it. So. We wanted to see the tunnel through the eyes of somebody different because we're sort of looking at it every day and uh, it's normal to us. And I must say, when I saw Andrew's reaction, it was really invigorating. He was screaming and shouting and <laughs> jumping up and down and uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Very ex enthusiastic and very excited and passed on a beautiful message to, as you'll hear later. Uh, so wh why did we do this? Um, We've already said that we wanted to share with the world in a new way the experience of the Large Hadron Collider and the work we do at CERN. So why did we do it? We had to find this so-called glass explorer uh, through Google. And our mission was to share the love of physics, the wonders of exploration and discovery, science, but from the LHC tunnel. So, I'm sure you don't know what the LHC is. Huh? Well, I see some very familiar faces here to do. So I'll try to remind you. The LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It consists of a 27 kilometer tunnel located about 100 meters underground, uh, running through Switzerland and France. It has powerful superconducting magnets that bend the beam uh, and counter rotating beams of protons, going almost at the speed of light. And we collide them at four points around the around the ring. But I guess you all knew that, okay. But I bet you didn't know how we get around inside the tunnel. Many people think we do a teleporting, but we use bikes. It's much cheaper. <laughs> uh, you also may know that the LHC and particle detectors were built with the help of over 10,000 engineers and scientists from something like 100 countries. And it took us about 20 years, so it's, it's been a very long project. And it involved hundreds of universities and laboratories. So I say hello to many of those people who are watching on the webcast now who, are, who actually participated in that. Now, you contributed to the construction of the Large Hadron Collider, which is thought by many people to be one of the greatest uh, engineering feats of all time. It certainly is one of the largest, it is the largest and most complex experimental facility ever built that I know of. Now, we have done many things in the tunnel, but there's one thing I certainly never thought we would do. Uh, I never thought we would take a physics class while riding a bike through the tunnel. Uh, and that's what Andrew did. But I'm getting ahead of myself, Andrew. So what, what are you going to tell him now? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm really excited to share this with you, but we have a, a brief video kind of showing what brought me here and, and why I'm standing on the stage with you. So enjoy. I think it's back here. There it is. Would have been cool to be an astronaut. My name is Andrew Van Heuvel. I'm a physics teacher from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Through college, I was embarrassed to tell people that I wanted to be an astronaut. It's like I want to be a princess who rides horses while being a police officer or something. It's just like it's ridiculous. I found my passion in teaching. Can you say conservation of angular momentum? I'm what you'd call a non-traditional teacher. I teach primarily online for students whose schools can't offer advanced physics courses. To be a glass explorer means I get to tie together all the things that are most engaging about learning. You know, making every moment a teachable moment. The first thing I'm planning to do with glass is take students with me on a virtual field trip as I go to CERN in Switzerland. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> all right, here we go. Holy cow! Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try to get my brother's class in on this. Okay, glass. Hang out with Ryan's class. Wow. Hello, everybody. Hi, Drew. Welcome to CERN. We made it. 
we're here. This is the CMS. This is one of the most complex machines ever made. Wow. Very excited. <laughs> We want to see back to the very beginning of the universe. The only way we can do that is with a beautiful machine like this. This tunnel is 27 kilometers long. Fewer people have ridden a bike here than have climbed Mount Everest. Crazy. Does anybody have any questions? John, how long does it take a proton to travel the whole loop? How full do the magnets have to be to be superconducting? What is that? If you added up all the protons in this entire tunnel, it would fit into the space of just one single grain of sand. We can say goodbye to our trusty bike here. Bye. Thank you, Steve and Freddie. See you. It's been a pleasure. All right, I'll see you guys when I get back in Michigan. Even though I may never go to space, I still feel like I got a chance to be an explorer here at CERN. It's unbelievable. And you know, while I wasn't wearing a spacesuit, at least I got to wear like you know a hard hat and glass. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Andrew, that was great. Pity I couldn't amazing. keep up with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it was an absolutely amazing experience. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. So I actually got a chance to try the glass as absolutely. well. It's phenomenal, and Freddie as well. Uh, <laughs> can you tell the people a little yeah. bit more about how we did it? Yeah, absolutely. So it's really simple to use. It's really cool. So like, um, I could initiate a, a Google Hangout with my brother's class. It's cool to see my brother up here with you guys. Um, and they could see everything I was seeing through the little camera that's right here. And I could see them right here on this tiny little screen. So it's all in real time. It's amazing. We really did that. We didn't just fake it to show it to you guys. It's kind of amazing that it actually happened. But uh, I never really imagined that it would be possible to teach a class from LHC. It's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, I can certainly see this class changing science teaching uh, all over, enormously all over the world. I thought it was fantastic that we could give access to the tunnel uh, and real people working in the tunnel, uh, sort of remote, uh, sort of. Yeah. And the other thing which I thought was terrific was your enthusiasm just broke through right. and they were cheering with you as well. So it was, it was absolutely fantastic. So um, what other kind of things do you think you could do with this contraption? Yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited to be able to use this in my teaching in general, especially as an online teacher. Um, but the thing that gets me the most excited is really this idea of like, you know, making every moment a teachable moment, right? So, I mean, I'm a physics guy, like a lot of people here, and so when I look around, you know, I see physics, like, everywhere I look. And with glass, I'm able to kind of share that with my students so they can see the physics, too, you know? So, like, just as a simple example, um, you know, going for a walk with my wife and kids, you know, down by a creek or something like that, and you see the little diffraction patterns in the water, and to be able to, like, just kind of, like, be there with the moment, be able to capture that and share that with my students, um, it's, anytime I see, like, you know, a science concept that I can really teach, I can capture that and share it, so I'm super excited. <laughs> Fantastic. So I hope everybody out there in the auditorium and watching the webcast from around the world starts to think about our tunnel in a, in a different way. I hope you remember our talk and think about how you can and we can try to make our outreach more accessible. Uh, we can share our passion for science and probably the most important thing, bring young people into the world of discovery. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. See ya.